Okay, now we talk about why you need target to use it. Like could man, I want to hold it back to the link, whatever. You can hold it and put the tape. Only one, two, three tape. Just the tape, the tape like a, just a sample, like a, need the leg, need the body, need the neck. Then the target don't move. Easy to practice. And you can make more power too. And you can feel how your body, your head, how you stand. How can you move that? If after this, you're gonna go, you kick whatever, anywhere you want, like uh, the back, moving, whatever, then you practice another step. This is one step, like you get more power, the more target, anywhere you want to, to do. Let me show you how. This is the first, you look the target, move good, stand good, step in, you go to the leg, bend, relax, the body, relax, the neck, relax. If you keep doing that, do thing which you feel, if you go bang like this, or the leg not go to the target, try to get again, move a little bit more, fix the leg, fix the leg. See sometimes you go here, you kick bang, you never come to the target, oh man, we stand it long. Try to move a little bit, pick it out, or oh, feel good, or do again. Then now check your body, how you come back. When you come back, you go, like this, you're not right. You have to hold your body good. Come back, feel good. Feel good. Feel good. Feel good. I do mid, pick up again. It's not right yet. Come again. Oh, I feel good now. I try. Target this. Target that. See? Now we go to the neck. See? Feel like, oh man, don't hit around here. You hit only around here, you don't more, make more to cover here. Figure out how well you can stand. See? Mid. Mid, fix the leg. Look at the target again. Try to go. Oh, feel good. Keep going again. Now fix the body, fix your leg. After that, you do hard. Get the leg first. You stand the leg. Balance good. Snap it. Shush. One. Shush. Two. Shush. Three. Go to the body. Shush. One. Shush. Two. Shush. Three. Go to the neck. Shush. One. Shush. Two. Shush. Three. After that, try to get one, two, three, one, two, whatever. Look at the target, the leg, snap the body. Go. Okay. Before the right leg, now gonna be the left leg. Gotta be the same. Take it easy, take your time, look at the target, how are you going. First gonna be the leg kick, take a little bit. See, have to feel good your legs, snap. How the target going on. 
the body, the neck, like this. After that, you do hot, do fat, only one, one, one third. But I could do hard, snap it, go, shush, one, shush, two, shush, three, go to the body, stand, shush, one, shush, two, shush, three, go to the neck, shush, one, shush, two, shush, shush. Now you go the same. Look at the target and go do fast. Okay, this one, you can learn with this a lot of things, but you cannot use the elbow because very short. You do this, kick, knee, put kick, use the hand, and you can learn how to footwork or that thing. With that, you need to hit hard. Try to do fast and get the target. Let me show you how to how to do. Equipment when we use right now this weight like a 15, 25 pounds. We use for hold your arm, the body, and make the body and your leg, your arm strong enough. And uh, this one we use for like hit your face, but you have to move left, move right, move right, move left. It's up to you, but you have to open your eye. You know, like make your eye like pop, 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 pop like that. When you fight, you're gonna. You can see when you find how you open your eye or the thing, you're not scared for the hand or the thing, the focus, you move. That's why we you need to practice uh, for the fighter. We're talking about the fighter or the thing. That's why we go, you this one, go that, then put in the face. The be better, you the football. Put, boom, boom, your face. You don't move, you're gonna hit yourself. We use this part, we use this equipment because we want to do the, the balance, how you stand the balance. You kick here, if you can, you, when you kick, you feel good. You go in a car, you're going to feel good more than you stand up here. Stand up here, you're scared. You're scared, you're not going to kick hard. 
But when you practice, you do hard, you fall down, you fall down. It's not a big deal. You're not going to get hurt too much. When you kick, make sure your balance good, stand good. Then you kick it. Try to practice yourself first. Like, take it easy, take it easy, take it easy. You feel good. Like, you can kick hard now. Kick hard. Kick all your energy. Stand good. Now you're going to try to do fast. Balance good, snap. You calm all your energy. Take it easy first. Hold it. Look the target. Now you chart hard. Stand the balance. Body timing. Feel good. And you shoot it. Or more. You not feel good, you're gonna fall down. You're gonna lose your balance. For sure, you're gonna fall down. And come back, try again. Stand, stand. Shish. Fix it out of the body. Shish. Shish. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid like, oh man, I can't. I want to kick. Take it easy. I'm scared to fall down. If you're scared that, don't you do it better. You're not gonna get anything. Don't be scared. Try to shoot hard. Fall down, fall down. Now we're going to use the weight, the weight about 25 or 30 pounds to use that. If you like a 135, 140, 150, try to use the weight 120, I mean 25 pounds or 30 pounds. This is good for you, but make sure you open your arm. It's not run like this way. You have to open your arm, make the elbow up a little bit, and you have to run the half foot, not the, all your foot like this. Just think simple. When you kick, you don't put all your foot and kick like that. You have to have foot to kick. You're going to make your muscle strong, the leg strong. Then you're running. Just relax. Relax. Go run, relax. But don't run small like this. Just a big. See, after that, try to put the knee up. And you shoot it. Make sure you hold the weight good. Don't hold the weight this way. Hold the weight up and shoot your knee. After that, the target. You run to the target. You're gonna go forward. Come backward. Go forward. Now you're gonna, your trainer in the ball kick the left. You kick the left, try to swing. You can. You go. Come back and go to light leg. Go to light leg. You go. Come back. Go to left leg. You do like that about 10 minutes, you're going to be strong. This, this one, the lobe, is too small. You're not going to get anything. You just like, you, if you use this lobe, to like a jump lobe that, it's not going to work for the fighter or the thing. It's not going to work for you because it's not heavy enough. You're not going to make the, the shoulder. <clears throat> when you swing the hand or the thing, you're not going to feel anything. Same thing like you jump in the air. That's why we use the big lobe. It's heavy. If you do something long, you stop that, you're going to hit your hand, your foot, then you're going to get hurt. Then you're going to put yourself. You're going to get hurt all this part, all this part, because the lobe is big. It's not small, but you know how to jump. You're not going to pay attention for a small lobe at all. See the first, how to jump that? The first jump is the new people. You just go to this gently relax. You just go like that. Don't open your arm. And you feel good already. You go one, one, see, take it out. One, two, one, two, you did that. After you feel good there, you get about 15 minutes. You go about 15 minutes, jump low. You stop, you stop, make sure, don't stop too long. Turn the music, 
Look the watch. About 15 minutes, you go jump it. Do by yourself, relax. Let's send the music, jump low, walk aloud. Jump aloud. Use the shoulder. One hand. If you have like one second, try to speed up. Okay, we're gonna use the pole to make sure your elbow, when you need, you cannot open your elbow and your arm. You have to use it. That's why you use, uh, if somebody, you don't understand, you're gonna hold the pole, then you're gonna need it. You're gonna, for sure, you're gonna go open like this when you need. When you open that, he can uppercut your face, whatever. He can take off the easy. If you do this, you pull it. Pull. You put this tight. Your elbow, I mean, your knee, you're gonna go exactly to go there. You're not gonna feel good. If you do every day, every day, every day, your arm, your head, when you chew it, you're gonna feel good. When you take off there, the lobe, you're gonna do like automatic to cover your face, your neck. Just simple to go. You have uh, your trainer. Do your eye, your head cover here, but you look. You look the target. He go tail left. You shoot. Shush. Top cow hold it. Shush. Snap stand. Shush. He make sure the elbow. Shush. Stand good. Shush. 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 He make sure you open your body. Make like a circle. And you snap. Shush. Same like a jab. Shush. Shish, thumb time, two time. Shish, 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 shish. See now you're gonna go, like you move around, turn around, look like people fight with you, he moving. How you gonna practice? See like my brother comes out here, you find need and need. He's not gonna stand around with you, you lock it, he's gonna move. Move it, move around, sit around, you're gonna move all the thing. See? How we practice, you move it. You come to the pro, hold it, try to practice, move around yourself. Ish, balance, good, ish. Need left, need right. Ish, go around, ish. Walk, ish. Shoot, ish. Ish, ish, balance, ish. The body, the leg, go to the face. Go straight up, so go. Ish, try to move around, ish. Ish, 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 ish. See the one you, you head, you put the low head to the leg. You want your, your student or your fighter to jump, jump and fall down. Because when you lock the knee or the thing, people throw, throw you down, you're gonna get tired, look weak. If you practice to throw down, you're gonna build your body too, because your body head to the fall. Head left, head right, head right, head left, whatever. Then uh, when you get locked the knee, people, you have someone have a technique. When you need him, he throw you, boom, that. You don't practice, you're gonna get tired. You're gonna, it's not easy to stand up to fight with him again. That's why we do this for. Okay, when you hold the lobe, make sure your body, make a circle a little bit. Don't stand too close, don't stand too far. Just uh, in the middle, stand good, like, make, stop, make right, stand good and neat. Then you shoot the target. Now one, number two, a second one near to your stomach. You do that, you need to do hard, but you have to be tight, come back fast. You stand, you footwork a little bit, then you shoot one, two, same like you jab. Same like you use the hand to jab. Use your hip to go. You don't go jump like this. This is not right. Just stand good and shoot it. Shoot the target, your stomach, open it. If you do like this, like a five minute, you're gonna see it, what's going on, try to do it.
to make sure you need go to the target, the same target, left and right need. See the foot, don't go like that, just move, close the foot a little bit, see, shoot the foot, make more the knee strong. Okay, this one you try to do like the first time you start, you try to get like a 10 or 20 foot. If you do more than that, you cannot get hurt your stomach. Just after you be feel like you're good, try to do a one leg or two leg time every day, five day a week. Just go stand by like one, two, three, four, five, one. Two, three, four, five. See the make sure you do this one. You have to know where you step. And this one is good for you that some people need hook you the hand to stop make you it's not easy to hurt you. That's why we use it all the time, maybe like two or three sets. See like the first set, try 30. See so try to get it. Make hard. You go one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Okay, for just now because he look weak now. Okay, we have the equipment for the Muay Thai, the one for my head, we call a Mong Khon. This one is for, for the good luck, but you cannot put when you're fighting, because uh, it doesn't let you to do that, because it'll be uh, something long, but make, make you feel good when you put the Mong Khon or other thing, respect your teacher, and to your mom, to your dad, to God, Buddha, this monk horn we call form of good luck. Then make the fighter uh, make me feel good before I fight. Because then and uh, relax my body. The all the Thai people they touch that the monk horn uh, look they hell you something like that just a uh, one hundred years ago. And this one is called a gadget. This for the when you get the elbow get the thing. The Muay Thai, Thai people, I think they cannot cut him because he come from the monk. The monk or Buddha try to make it for him that you can put the fight, that's okay for that. All the Thai people, a lot of people, they put the fight. That only me too, I put the fight too. After that, we have an ankle. The ankle, we put for the fight because sometimes we try to use the chin to kick, but it's, it's mid, mid accident move get to the foot or the thing, you not get hurt. You might you get hurt, but it's not like a get hurt 100% because you have ankle cover, cover you this. We talk about the curb. The curb, with the, in Thailand, we use the six on to fight, but in America, I think about eight on to fight. That's the one they use because people, can, uh, all the country is different. If someone, there's some another, Dallas, New York, Holland, or the thing different. Well, I don't know. Some New York, he might use egg, he might use ten. In Thailand, he use six on. Holland, he use egg on. Japan, he use egg on, but in Thailand, six on. Right now, I don't know how many on because I've been from Thailand about ten years. I know he might change something. The curb is just a commissioner or the law. Talk about the curb. The curb. Any country is different, any commissioner is different. Sometimes the boxing commissioner, Muay Thai commissioner, like Holland use a different curb, like some Holland he might use the egg on, Thailand use six on, America use egg on, ten on. That's, this one we don't need to pay attention because uh, the commissioner, the one he have the law, you have to go, you have to use egg on, you have to use six on, you have to use ten on, just different. Just uh, pay attention to the commissioner if you fight, you have to listen to the commissioner. This one, in Thailand, is called a Nam Man Mui. Then everybody, all the fighters, they use the Nam Man Mui. To like, 
relax your muscle. When you might you get kicked, something you not get hurt, easy to take care of all your body or that thing. Get a, like a warm up too. If people in Thailand don't use number one way, I don't think he can fight or not because he not feel good. But in America, a commissioner don't let you because he go, oh, you gonna come from your eye, you gonna make you bad because he don't understand all that thing. Right now we gotta do like a Muay Thai training. He called a uh, shadow boxing. We do shadow boxing because we want to warm all the body. We try to use everything we can. Try to use all the energy on the shadow boxing. It's just like a warm up. We gotta do like a three minute, three minute uh, around and one minute break. Or the thing do like a three round, four round. Try to do hard you can. Try to use everything you can. Just do it. Okay, this one we call the pad work. We try like uh, you have a your trainer, your instructor, whatever. You go like look like sparring, but the guy hold the pad. Your trainer, he try to do you something, but he try to catch you or the thing. Try to speed more you can. This one look get like a technique or that thing. When you fight, you're gonna feel good. Look like you fight with your opponent. We see what we do. Yep. <laughs>
Okay, this one is good for the fighter to train like a, your, your leg, your arm, your shoulder. Make your shoulder, your leg, your arm strong. But you have to use a steel bar like a 20 power, that thing. Then try to hit hard you can. Look the target. You cannot stand this side. You have to stand 45 degrees, your body stand up. Then you hit it, you go like, you go one, you turn two. You see the body, the leg gonna move right away. After that, you go fast and do hard, turn it. We held your balance good and you make more power in the body and the shoulder. And you're gonna make your body strong and shoulder strong too. The tire we we use this because the, for the balance and the timing good. Then you control your body and shoulder. The another thing that have fun with is not that you jump here. You're not gonna feel good. And you easy. You can go anywhere you want. But the tire this is good for you. You cannot go anywhere, but you can move it. You can control your body. You can control your leg, the shoulder, everything and have fun too with or train all your students. If you try to jump, okay, jump together. <laughs> you try to stick it out the leg, you can turn left, turn right, you don't lose it. Then you're gonna make your leg have a muscle, tight muscle all the time. Now we're training for the uh, learn experience and uh, with the partner before I fight. We have to get like two, three people try to beat the fighter. Because we get three people, two people, because like you fight with the one people, it's going to be easy. Then try to get all the three people to beat the fighter. To, to beat me, something like that. Just simple, like I'm fight for next month. I get three people come to spar with me. All three people try to beat me or the thing. When I fight with the three people, it'll be hard for me. Then I jump to fight with one people, I feel like that guy will be easy. That's why we do that for the technique. For. But we have to use the curb, chin pad, or that. We're not gonna get hurt. That's why we do it. We try to do it. Go. We start. We come on, let's. Shh, <laughs> 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 
Okay, now we're gonna try to lock the knee. He tried to make the the fighter to make the fighter like uh, make him tire more. You can because don't let him stop to take a break. But we have to get the two, three people to come to make the make the, the fighter get tired. We will see what we do. Feel like we're gonna lock knee, throw me, do whatever he want. It make me get tired. That's it. Okay, go. Oh God. Jab tay, jab มาเลยหาเครื่องล้มไปได้ไหมเลยไอ้ชิ้นอื้อไอ้ชิ้นอื้อไอ้ชิ้นอื้อไอ้ชิ้นอื้อไอ้ชิ้นอื้อไอ้